Hi, welcome to Z Code Sports Systems. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big and not just win big, but win big consistently. So we're going to talk about some Major League Baseball games now as we're more than a month into the season and the pennant races are already starting to heat up. So at the VIP club section here and we're going to go down through some of the games for this weekend. So we're not going to go through every matchup, but as I scroll down through here, there's some ones in particular that I want to talk about. So let's go get started here. So I want to talk about the Mariners and the Red Sox. If you look at the Mariners, they are dead up, having lost. If you take a look at this, if I can get to it. They have lost. There we go. They have lost five out of their last six. If you look at Boston, they are average, and they have been – I can get the games up. I don't know why this isn't coming up. There we go. They have won – Four out of their last six, but they lost their last game four to one to Baltimore. So with the power ranking indicator between the two teams, you can see Boston is trending upward there at plus 15. Seattle is trending downward. They were at plus 28 back on April 27th, and they have dropped now to plus 13. If you take a look here now at the uh, volatility oscillator, you can see that Boston is at minus four. Seattle is at plus five, which means Boston is not performing as their favorite underdog status indicates on many occasions. So it's not good to bet either for or against them based strictly on their favorite underdog status. So keep that in mind. If you look at the totals predictor for the over under, you can see that Seattle's games are trending well over. And you can see that the Boston's games are trending slightly over. So this is a pretty safe bet to go for the over on this one. If you want to look at the pitcher profit oscillator, I'm going to go show you that right away here. I already have this one matchup in here for you. It is just go here to the put in the two teams, Seattle and Boston. The two starting pitchers, Eric Swanson and Eduardo Rodriguez, are scheduled to pitch on Friday. If you go down through and check the chart here, you can see the two lines are now. There's not much of a sample here for um, for Swanson here as he hasn't pitched that much. But you can see the difference here. It's minus 172 for Swanson and plus 838 for Rodriguez. So definitely Boston has the edge in that game. So that's what you can do for all the matchups if you want to. So that's what I did. And if you look down through that, you can see that um, Marco Gonzalez then is the better bet for Seattle at plus 579 in Sunday's matchup. And Rick Porcello is the best bet for Boston in Saturday's matchup at plus 1447. So go with Boston to win two out of three games in that series. Now for the featured matchup of the week, I want to look at Texas and Houston. In this National or American League West matchup, excuse me, the two teams in the state of Texas are both burning hot at the moment. If you look at the Rangers, they are winners of three out of their last six, but have won their last two. Houston has won their last three and four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, which I always like to do, it shows an upward trend for both teams. You see Houston is here at plus 27. You see Texas is on the upward trend there at plus 15. We go down through here and look at the total predictor. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that Texas is trending well over in their games. And if you go down through, Houston is trending under. So in this case, it's best bet not to go for the over and under since teams are on opposite sides of the over and under trend. If you look at the volatility oscillator, this is helpful sometimes, you see that Houston is at plus 11. They're one of the most stable teams in the league, so they perform pretty much as their favorite underdog status indicates. So keep that in mind. I think that as far as the uh, pitcher profit oscillator goes, Jared Cole and Colin McHugh are both uh, positive. For Houston, they're scheduled to go Saturday and Sunday, so they definitely have the advantage in their uh, matchups. Uh, Justin Verlander against Lance Lynn. Verlander surprisingly is at minus 13 or minus 1238. Lance Lynn is at minus 445. None of the Rangers pitchers are profitable, but I think that Houston, although winning the series, I don't think they will sweep. So let's go two games to one in that one. Let's go down through here. There's a few more to take a look at. Uh, let's look at the. Here we go. The Arizona Diamondbacks and, and Atlanta Braves. So the Diamondbacks are here winning four out of their last six, but they've lost their last two, so their average status. The Braves have won four out of their last six, but they lost their last game. They're also at average. 
you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Arizona is trending slightly downward. They're still at plus 25. Atlanta has been on the upward trend. They're at plus 21. We take a look at the total predictor for the over under. You can see that Atlanta games are trending over. And so is Arizona. So it's a pretty safe bet to go for the over in the games in this series. The pitcher profit oscillator, if you want to put the, the numbers in to the system, um, two of the three brave starters are in the green as far as the pitcher profit. Julio Tehran on Friday and Max Fried on Saturday. Arizona's best bet is for Zach Greinke on Friday at plus 2,870. I think the Braves will actually, in a little bit of an upset, win the series two games to one. Okay, let's go down through here. Another one I wanted to take a look at was the Nationals and the Dodgers. The Washington Nationals are not trending well lately. They have lost four out of their last six, ice cold down. The Dodgers are average up, winners of four out of their last six. You look at the power ranking indicator, which I always like to do. It gives you the Dodgers here at plus 23 and Washington at plus 7. So a huge advantage there for the Dodgers. Totals predictor for the over-under. You can see that Washington is trending under in their games, as is the Dodgers. So both teams are trending under. So in this case, it is a very good bet to place on the under in this series. As far as the pitching matchups are concerned, uh, both Anibal Sanchez and Kenta Meda's scheduled starters on Friday are very unprofitable. Minus 2,592 versus minus 1,496. Probably might not even be a good idea to bet on that game at all, but if you do, maybe lean towards the Dodgers since they're at home. Max Scherzer is the best bet for Washington to win a game in this series. That is Saturday. He is at plus 1,784. So I picked the Dodgers to win the series two games to one. Okay, we have one more here I want to look at quickly. It is the Cincinnati Reds and San Francisco Giants. Both teams are in the basement in their divisions. They're both in the average category, well, average for the Reds in their status right now, as they have, what have they done lately in their games? Let me get up for some reason. They're not, there we go. They have uh, won three out of their last six and two out of their last three. The Giants, on the other hand, have lost two out of their last three, and they're also three and three over their last six, and they're averaged down. Power rankings indicators, since both teams are at the bottom of their divisions, you would expect them to be low, and they are plus eight for San Francisco and only plus three for Cincinnati. Look at the total predictor real quick. If you look at that for over under, Cincinnati is trending slightly over in their games, and look at San Francisco's games. They are trending way over. Look at the red compared to the blue. So it's a very safe play, I think, to go for the over in this series. As far as who's going to win, uh, give a slight advantage to San Francisco simply because they're playing at home. So go with San Francisco to win two games to one. Okay, so now if you don't want to really go through all this, you know, what I'm doing right now with all the statistics, you can go to one of our programs here. And it's called the MLB KISS program, Live Signals. This is a very nice tool here. If you go through here, you can see, you can go by uh, summary, by all trends. You can go for Royals. You can go anti-Cleveland, pre-Texas, all different types of, of trends here you can look at. If you go down here, net profit graph, this is the most important thing to see. You see the game number along this x-axis here and the profit total along the vertical axis here. And you can see how it's going here as the profit trend is going upward through all those game numbers. Um, if you want to go down here to the previous season's graph, you can do that as well. You can see, again, game number and profit total. And again, now you can go to the current season's graph. You can see how the uh, profit is going up and down. And now it's going up on the upward trend again. So it's really a very good tool. And in the last 30 days, graphs and so on and so forth. There's all different types of things you can look at. You can look at the seasonal graph, MLB. Uh, and this goes back to 2010. You don't want, really want that one, but here's seasonal graph 2009. You can go through all different types of seasons on this. It's a really good tool and see where the most profitable bets are. So that's one thing to make sure you check out. And that goes back to picture profit oscillator and now back to the page with all the games. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the games this weekend. And if you're not already a member, please join up so you can start winning big. 
win big every single week. Have a great week and enjoy the game.